One of the questions that I'm asked a lot is how do I get the metrics overlay in the corner for our benchmarks? So I thought for this video, we do a quick guide on how to set that up so that you can do it too. So when running our benchmarks, we need to be able to see the stats of the system and that includes the average FPS. Now to see these kind of things, you can use the built-in software with your graphics card. AMD, Nvidia and Intel all have some kind of overlay system. The one we use is this one. This one can actually be got from an application called MSI Afterburner in conjunction with another application called Revertune. We use this one for two reasons. The first is so that it looks consistent across all different brands of graphics cards. And the second is that it doesn't just provide you with a real time view of your frames per second. It will also calculate the average across the benchmark itself and including the 1% and the 0.1% lows. Now to demonstrate this, we're gonna be using our little system. This is our little APU build that we recently built in a video. If you like the look of this system, we recommend you go check that video out. We'll link it at the end. But anyway, let's get onto the system and we'll show you how to set that overlay up. So once you're actually in Windows, we will need to go download MSI Afterburner. To do that, you need to open up your favorite browser and search for MSI Afterburner. You can get that from this website, so the MSI landing page, and you want to click this download here. Once that is downloaded, you'll be left with this zip file. What you need to do is extract that zip file and we'll just stick it straight there. And then we'll run the setup. When we install this, we just click next to everything, accept the terms and keep going. What it will do at this stage is it's telling you that it's going to install multiple components. You can install MSI Afterburner without Revertuner if you just want to use it for overclocking, but we obviously want both, so we're going to hit next. We will install it to wherever it wants to on the system and then the installation process will continue. Now, halfway through the installation of MSI Afterburner, it's gonna ask you to install the Reaver Tuner. It's the same process. We need to click next, accept the license agreement, tell it where it wants to go. We'll just stick it in the default folder and we'll hit next. Once the Reaver Tuner statistics server setup has completed, we'll want to click finish and then we're left with the completion of the MSI Afterburner. We'll untick show readme because we don't need to see that. And then we'll task it to run the application. Once MSI Afterburner opens, you're going to be left with this. Now this screen is generally for overclocking your graphics cards, playing with your fan profiles, things like that. We're not going to touch any of that. All we want to do is get that metrics overlay. But to begin with, what we'll do is we'll open up a game and we'll put it next to it so you can see what's going on. So the game we've got open in the background here is Half-Life 2. We put it in a windowed mode at 720p so that you can actually see what's going on. In the MSI application, we now want to configure and enable that overlay. So what we need to do is go to this cog, go to the monitoring tab, and in here you'll see a list of components. We don't want all of these components. We're just gonna set up the frame rate one. So let's untick them all, and then we'll find the frame rate stuff. The one that I want is frame rate, or the ones that I generally use are frame rate, frame time, average, 1% low, and 0.1% low. And then what I do is I drag that to the top, so that I can find it quicker in future. Now to be able to enable this onto the actual game itself, we need to make sure it's ticked across all of them. I don't want frame time in the same group, so I'm gonna put that down the bottom and I'm gonna select all of these ones because I want to put that in the same group. Now what I need to do is select show in on-screen display, which actually tells it that it's gonna be in OSD. And then I'm gonna override the group name with FPS. Once I hit apply, it's going to think for a minute and then we have all of the frame rate up there in the corner of the game. So we can see FPS is now grouped and it's in the order that it is in this application. So we have frame rate, which is going to be our real time frame rate, our average frame rate, our 1% low and our 0.1%. Now that's simple enough to be able to get this set up so that you can actually view it. And we can do the same with other things. So if we go and find our CPU now, and remember this is an APU build, so we want CPU temperature. I'll pull that to the top. I want CPU usage. It's not always the easiest to find stuff, but we'll put that to the top. And then we're going to put the CPU clock as well. So. Let's have a look for CPU. CPU clock is there. Now I generally put that in the middle. It's just the format that I like. Other people use different things. We want to select all of them on. And again, I want to group them. So I'm going to select them all, tick show in on-screen display, override the group name, 
and instead of CPU, I'm going to call it Ryzen 5 5600G because that is the processor that I'm using. Now, the reason I do that for my benchmarks is because when I come back to this footage or if somebody is skipping through a video to see this footage, they'll get the full system specs in there. You can do the same for RAM and you can also do the same for the GPU. I like to set the frame time up as a bit of a graph because I feel that it tells me more. So I'm going to click this on its own and I'm going to click show in on screen display and I'm going to change the type to a graph. Now I'm not going to change the name of this one. I'm going to leave it as frame time so that you can see it. And as you can see in the corner now, a frame graph has appeared. It looks a bit wobbly at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. It's probably because I've alt tapped from the game, but generally that will be there to show you how smooth the gameplay is. Now you may actually want to configure how that graph in the corner looks. And to be able to do that, what we want to do is we need to drop back to the system okay on the properties that's all configured now in msi afterburner we need to drop down to the bottom here and open or show the reva tuner stats now this is the reva tuner stats here and you've got multiple configs we've got a global one here that applies to all games and as you can see there is a bit of configuration already set up if we tick this here it's going to remove the fill from behind i generally like to have the fill on because it makes it easier for you guys to see the stats and you can also move the stats or the overlay in any direction that you want so as you move things around here it tends to move in the corner sometimes i run it in the middle sometimes i run it to the left it depends what you want for yours and that's pretty much it this is now the stat setup you can configure it using the properties on the msi afterburner for the fields that you want and you can configure how it looked through the reaver tuner the one thing that you need to remember to do is not to close these applications some people will set it up get it running in the game drop out and then hit the x's in both of these applications thinking they're minimizing it if you do that those tools are going to close and your overlay is going to disappear so what you want to do is hit that little minus and then hit that little minus and we've got our stats running in the game perfectly fine and that is how you set up Afterburner with Reaver Tuner, and it's how we get our overlay in the corners. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you like and subscribe to it if you did, and I'll catch you in the next one.